Forward to out here. Kicking it here with the Northwest Suns. Sun out here at Boy. KROG. Yeah. Big ups to Marshall. Yeah. Ashland, Oregon. Yeah. Ashland, Oregon. What up? Big ups, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's up, brother? So sorry I'm late, man. I am about to get yelled at. I'm hella late. <laughs> oh, yeah, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Oh, shoot. What's up, brother? Good seeing you. Yeah, beefcake. What up, man? What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Hey, Sorry I'm so late, man. Oh, I'm going to It's alright. <laughs> Got a little bit of everything, man. Make you feel good. Make does, you feel good for sure. Does it ever get smoky at your guys' concerts? That's question, man. Stay no. smoky with the Northwest Suns. <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while. Every once in a while. I understand how it works, dude. Sometimes you got to get out there and feel it. You know, a little, little chemical enhancement. Yeah. Yeah! It makes all the vibe a little bit better, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not that we support that sort of thing. Unless you're in it. Oh, no, I would, even, I would never even do that. I would never even do that. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. Until you're 18, you can make your own stupid decisions. Yeah, 18 years old, it's all your choice. All right, man. So uh, that's excellent. And let's see. Think, think for a second. This is the magic of editing right here. <laughs> yeah. Editing. <laughs> Get up. Oh, yeah. I say a piece. Well, I don't know. Tell me a little bit more about you, about uh, your guys' act and how, uh, how, man. Are you doing great? Basically, during, basically during our act, man, we just try to, uh, we just bring a lot of energy to our shows, try to try to do a lot of different music, you know, we, we don't try to pigeon ourselves, into, or pigeonhole ourselves into one genre of music. Crowd We're, participation, man. Crowd participation. <laughs> That's the big homie Ian right there on lead vocals on acoustic guitar. Um. We just we just try to bring a good show to everybody, play a bunch of different styles of reggae music, and just try to make everybody relate to what we're doing, and just try to bring a vibe to everybody, because we make music for people to enjoy and not be so stressed out about life, and get away for a little bit, and just kind of feel a good vibe on music, and just dance and get a good time in you. That's good, man. That's a big part of what it is, being able to disconnect from what's going on around you, yeah. and just worry about you know the vibe of the people that are there yeah, at the concert and the vibe of the folks on stage. You know. Yeah, we just try to bring a happy vibe to everybody, man, because you know some days we have hard days of work or hard days just living, and the music is always a relieving thing. We've always felt that through us, we listen to a lot of different good music to make us feel better in life. So we kind of try to bring the same vibe to everybody else. Excellent. So do you guys have do you guys have day jobs during like when when you're not out touring and stuff like that? Yeah, it's crazy. We all have a we all have a lot of busy lives. We all have jobs. I mean, I go to school and I have children. Some of us have kids and some of us have uh, businesses we run and jobs. So we definitely are busy during the during the time we not we're not playing music. But we try to do as much music as possible and trying to go towards playing the music more than working. Yeah, together. someday, someday yeah. music will be the job. Work. Someday music, music will be the job. <laughs> it's kind of, we just keep working, really man. We don't, we don't ever set our, set our hopes too high besides just working really hard as a band and just staying focused on being positive and bringing a good vibe to people and not taking it for granted and just being thankful for every chance we get to play. Excellent, dude. And uh, I mean, that, that is the ultimate goal, though, to, to get to that place where, where music is the job, where music is what you do. And it's, I mean, doing what you love, you never have to work a day in your life, right? Yeah, it's a dream. Man, it's a dream to get out and be able to uh, be able to chance to play all over, play in Oregon, play down here in um, Ashland, and be here in Medford to be on the radio and just get out and get our names heard, get our music played. It's awesome. You guys are gonna dig Ashland. It's like it's it's a teeny tiny like little microcosm of like a Seattle or a or Ooh. a little, super liberal little town, but no nice. red signs though. No red, yeah, signs. no red signs. No red signs. Uh, I mean, it's no red Northwest Sun stickers a lot, I guess. Oh, we'll be, no. we'll be handing out Northwest uh, stickers, red, if uh, anybody wants to cop one of those. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird that they don't allow red signs yeah, considering, you know, like the red, green, yellow sort of association. Yeah, man, they think right? that they would allow the Rasta colors around. Yeah. But. <laughs> yeah. That was crazy. It's freaking me out, dude. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, thank you very much, guys. And yeah. uh, next up, we got uh, Marco, Marco and Ross Cricket. Yeah, big up to uh, uh, the Beefcake, man. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Roll, yeah. Man. Yeah. Sure, brother. Roll. Production. What's up? Uh, what have you guys uh, been up to since uh, since last we spoke over at Brother Joe's and Wine Plate Lunch? Man, we did. Um, we had the the we had the Brother Joe show. The next day, we had um, the, 
the next day we had the CD release for uh, Duel for the Love, which was great at Alex's. Yeah. And um, uh, Cricket mastered that one and did the artwork, self-produced um, by myself. Yeah, and then, yeah. uh, so far that's been doing really well. We spent a long time um, on the road with the Mystic Roots Band. Um, that's a new thing, for sure. Yeah, just kind of chill with them. Uh, Cricket's doing some uh, guitar work and vocals. I'm doing some vocals and also the tour manager for the tour whole manager. shit. So watch out for that. That's Marco with a C. <laughs> crazy pirate ship we're running, man. You guys are running a pirate ship? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. When did you stop playing music and start running a pirate ship? You know, ship? it just kind of was an easy segue, you know? It was meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> All right, so if for the folks who haven't been out to see you, uh, tell me a little bit about your guys' style, exactly what you do. Well, and, uh, we'll start with Craig. Craig, tell me a little bit yeah. about, about your strong riffs, brother. Well, let's see. Um, the best thing about what we do is, is fun. That's what I can wrap it up the best is say fun. The shows are fun. The vibe is great. Everybody has a great time. Uh, and it's just strictly reggae music, and that's what we've done for years and years, and that's what we're going to do for years and years. And uh, Marco brings it. I bring it on guitar and some vocals and that, and yeah, like I said, it's a great time. Yeah, man, been fun. Um, I think that definitely the biggest part about our show is the fun. You know, we like just just have a good party, um, straight reggae music. You know, we bring some other other vibes to the table. Um, and we're actually doing a hip hop show uh, this next week. Tonight's going to be like reggae rock meets hip hop and everything. We got one of my favorite MCs who isn't here with us uh, right now, but um, he's on his way up right now uh, to Ashland. But uh, Rashawn Ahmad from the Crown City Rockers. Okay. These guys are one of my favorite bands too. So I'm super super stoked for tonight. Nothing like, wrong with the Northwest Sun. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ah. Oh man. No joke. So make sure, folks, that you come out and you support your local Northwest artists. Come out, get a t shirt, get yourself a CD, and enjoy the vibe that these guys have to offer. Thanks for having us, Beefcake, always, man. Big time, Beefcake. Just wanted to mention real quick um, that this Monday and Tuesday, this Monday we, we're doing a little hip hop pizza uh, shop tour. Hip hop and pizza? So, yeah. like, if you love hip hop or pizza or both, come out on Monday to Northwest uh, Northwest Pizza in Ashland. Yeah. It's going to be an all ages show. We got the Onironauts. We have Ran Mobilities from Sacramento cool. with DJ Rated R and then myself. Uh, the next night we're at the Creek 21 and over, um, so two great pizza spots, two great hip hop shows, uh, next Monday and Tuesday. Say yes to pizza and hip hop, yes. dude. With yeah. the ranch, too. I remember our discussion last time. Yeah, with you the ranch. got it. With the ranch. <laughs> uh, that's a good guy. Actually, Crick, uh, Crick, tell me, yeah, pizza yeah. with ranch or without yeah, ranch? I would say with ranch for sure. Yeah. What about uh, Jackson Creek Pizza or, you know, who has the best ranch around here? Um, Ashland Creek isn't bad, and I'm kind of partial to Ashland because that's where we're at, you know. But Jackson Creek big ups every time. Good Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I, that was a question I couldn't ask the Northwest Signs. I mean, you got to have the pizza. Exactly. The pizza's too legit around here. Yeah. Perfect, bro. You should come cool. Out. If you can, yeah. Come, come buddy. That was fun, man. Thanks, you guys, so much for having us. Love to see you. Have yep. Come on, guys. You too, brother. Oh yeah, yeah, buddy. Leaving the station. Leaving, bro. So fun. It was so much fun. Dude, I'm so stoked to see this man once again. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Back in action. No doubt. Back in action. Back in Ashland. Back in up? Ashland. <laughs> Chilling here. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys at the show tonight. Culture Works. Don't right, miss man. it. Rashawn Ahmad. Booyah. Northwest Suns. Marco yeah. Ross Cricket. Yeah, yeah. Soul Survivors. Yes. Spin.